What do you mean I'm too old for the Coco Melon fandom? You know, when you say stuff like that, you're basically telling young people they're going to have to give up the things that bring them joy when they grow up. Let people enjoy things. Think critically about media. Let people enjoy things. Think critically about media. Let people enjoy things. Think critically so about yeah, media. So yeah, that's me. And today's storytime animation is all about how I risked it all to stand up for one of the world's most persecuted groups, fandom adults like me. And it all started, like most good stories do, as a not-safe-for-work Roblox fanfiction. You see, I just finished writing one of my most dark and disturbing Roblox fanfictions. I am so proud of my latest fanfic. It's all about characters from the mobile horror game Garten of Ban Ban who start playing the Roblox obstacle or obby game known as Jukes Towers of Hell. But then it takes a darkly adult turn and explores themes like death, drugs, and pissing. Hey, what's this? A DM. Hi, I'm a minor trying to access your Roblox fanfiction, but it says it's for 18 and over only. Can you just DM it to me? DM you my adult-themed Roblox content? Are you out of your mind? What part of adult themes don't you understand? Get lost, you little minor twerp. Wait, what? This twerp just wrote me back saying, I'm a twerp. You're old as hell. Well, and you're still you're writing, writing Roblox, Roblox fanfiction. fiction. Shouldn't you be taking, taking care, care of your family or something? something? Taking care of my family? How about taking care of myself by enjoying my cherished hobby of engaging with corporate-controlled intellectual properties that were originally marketed to children? Now let people enjoy things, you little underage twerp. Ugh, God, what is wrong with people in fandom spaces these days? Don't they know how to let people enjoy things? Ugh, I can't sleep. Maybe I am too old to be writing Roblox fanfiction with mature themes such as death, drugs, and p- Maybe I need to find an age-appropriate hobby such as writing fanfiction about- Ugh, what fandoms are other adults my age even in? Ah, what's this? Joe? Regan? Rogan? Hmm, okay. Well, I guess I'll try to write a fanfiction about this Joe Rogan guy, and just to make sure I'm not bullied out of the space by any teenagers, I guess I won't include my favorite mature themes such as death, drugs, and music. It was a nice sunny day. Joe Rogan, after finishing his, let's see, podcast, uh, podcast, decided he was hungry, so he walked over to his local Wendy's. And guess who was working there? A guy named Mr. Weird, and they proceeded to not engage in adults-only behaviors. God, writing fanfiction without children's cartoon characters participating in adult behaviors is so boring. Maybe I'll just take a break from writing this fanfiction and just watch something that an algorithm recommends to me based on my past viewing history. What's this? Because you liked Roblox, you might like Coco Malone. Okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> wow. What a cool show. Um, I literally found my new obsession. I can't wait to engage with this corporate-controlled intellectual property that was originally marketed to children by writing fanfiction about it with mature themes such as death, drugs, and f***ing. And done. Time to post this mature Coco Melon fanfiction and get what I'm sure is a welcoming response from the Coco Melon fandom. Regardless of my age. What the f***? You look middle-aged and you wrote a fanfiction featuring mature themes about Coco Melon? We use this form to discuss a show that our babies watch. Get out of here, you old creep. Man, how could they write that? I mean, I can handle it, but what if a baby reads that and starts thinking they'll have to leave the Coco Melon fandom once they become middle-aged like me? What's this? A message from someone named Melon Man 1953 and it's just a phone number. Call me. Okay. If this is the Coco Melon Forum Mods, I'll say it again. I'm not posting or lurking. No, it's me, the Coco Melon Fandom Adult you messaged. Oh yeah. Listen, I saw what happened to you, and I just want to say, don't give up writing Coco Melon fanfics with dark and mature themes, or you'll end up like me. What do you mean? You see, 10 years ago, when I was 60, my greatest source of joy was participating in the Coco Melon fandom. I wrote fanfics with extremely mature themes like death, drugs, and piss and pissing. And then my grandchildren turned four and lost interest in Coco Melon. And they started mocking me 
for watching it, saying it was for babies. And I gradually got the feeling that I was going to have to give it up right when I was about to retire and have nothing but free time to be a fandom adult. And so what happened? I did give it up. But if there had been a 21 and over community of other adults who enjoyed creating not safe for work cocoa melon content, maybe I would still be able to find joy in fandom. But now, instead of fandom, all I have is... No, 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 don't say it. My loving family. No, 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 no. So please, don't let yourself get bullied off the forums for writing dark and disturbing cocoa melon fix. Create a space where fans of all ages are welcome. Or you'll end up... Grandpa, come here! Ah, crap, I gotta go. My grandchildren want me to go watch. No, 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 don't say Sports Ball. That's it. I'm going to normalize adult Coco Melon fandom. Okay, let's see. My first step has got to be creating 21 and over spaces where fandom adults can enjoy posting Coco Melon content with dark and mature themes without being bullied by babies or their parents. I'm talking about the first ever Adults Only Melon Con. Okay, time to post in the forum. Here we go, Adult Coco Melon Con 23. All attendees must be 21 and over. No, babies allowed. Oh, and here come the replies. What are you, some kind of creep? Mods delete this. Just know that by telling an adult Coco Meloner that they're a creep, you're also telling babies that they'll have nothing to look forward to when they're older because they'll have to give up the thing that brings them joy. And that, in my humble opinion, makes you the real creeps. Anyway, see you at MelonCon 23, and remember, no minors allowed. Okay, can't wait for my fellow adult Coco Melon fandom elders to join me here in this judgment-free space where we let people enjoy things. And when the pictures of this event hit the net, well, I can't wait to see the look on the faces of the little Gen Z brats who tried to shame us fandom millennials. Sure is taking my fellow fandom elders a while to show up. I'm sure they'll be here any... minute. Hello? Ugh. Okay, maybe the problem was being so strict about no minors allowed. I'll just relax the rules a bit. Okay, here we go. All Ages Coco Melon Con 23. The convention where middle-aged fandom adults can hang out with unaccompanied minors. And remember, only minors and middle-aged Coco Melon fans allowed. Ugh, where is everybody? Why didn't any parents drop their babies off to hang out with middle-aged fandom adults at All Ages Coco Melon Con 23? Forget it. I'm calling the whole event off and giving up. Hello? Hi, it's me. Ambrose Oldington Sr. Sorry, do I know you? Yes. Yes. Melon Man, 1953. Oh, you. Listen, I'm sorry no one else came. I was trying to organize a convention for the small but passionate adult Coco Melon fandom, but, well, as you can see, no one came. I mean, what's even the point? I guess I should just be an adult Coco Melon fan in private. Maybe it is embarrassing to publicly share my fandom for a children's. Hang on. Who did you say that the convention was for? The small but passionate. See, maybe that's your problem. Accepting that the fandom is small. Instead of having a convention for a small fandom, why not have a convention to grow the small fandom into a giant one? How will I get anyone who isn't in the adult Coco Melon fandom to show up in the first place? Well, maybe include some other fandoms. Perhaps ones that have a sizable adult following. Say no more. Wow, I can't believe how many people came to my Joe Rogan fan convention. There must be at least 200 middle-aged people here. And now, with just a little help from Photoshop, we just normalized Coco Melon fandom adults. Hey everyone, so proud of the adult Coco Melon fandom for showing up to my convention. For too long, adult fans of intellectual properties originally marketed to children have stood in the shadows as society and large entertainment conglomerates discouraged us from spending all our time and money on things like Marvel, Star Wars, and yes, Coco Melon. Wow, look at this. My inbox is full of people thanking me for normalizing them. Hi, I'm an adult Scooby-Doo Funko Pop hoarder, and my family was always trying to shame me for spending our food money on Scooby-Doo Funko Pops. But ever since I showed them the picture of Coco Melon Con and told them to shut the f*** 
off. They haven't said a word to me about my hot hot or anything else. And the list goes on. Thank you for making me proud to be an adult, hyper-realistic Five Nights at Freddy's cosplayer. Thank you for normalizing me telling all my co-workers I draw Spongebob diaper arm. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. I really did the right thing. Hello? Hi, is this the organizer of the adult Coco Melon fandom convention? Yes? Uh, yeah, I organized this year's Fandom Adult Normalization Awards, and we're having another convention to give you an award on behalf of the Fandom Adult community. Okay, great. See you soon. Hmm, that's weird. Nobody's at this Fandom Adult Normalization event. Maybe they should have done what I did and... Lied about it being a Joe Rogan fan convention? You photoshopped the picture to make it look like us Joe Rogan fans were at a Coco Melon convention. And now, I'm the laughing stock of the Rogan fandom. Now, go online and admit what you did. And while you're at it, take a few seconds to think critically about the media you consume. Because when you do, I'm sure you'll stop writing dark and disturbing Coco Melon fan fiction. Because that show is just for babies, not fandom adults. Hey man, let people enjoy things, okay? No. I'm not just gonna let people enjoy things when the mass media is literally a tool for brainwashing the public into supporting the mainstream agenda. Which you would know if you, as I said, could think critically about media. Let people enjoy things. Think critically about media. Let people enjoy things. Think critically about media. Let people enjoy. Okay, fine. I'll let you enjoy your thing if you let me enjoy my thing. Okay, and what thing is that? Yeah, the thing I enjoy is kicking your ass. Ugh, I really wish that guy hadn't kicked my ass for making it seem like he was at a convention for fans of a TV show for babies instead of a podcast for adults who like to kick people's ass. Maybe I'll cheer myself up by writing a dark and mature Coco Melon fan fiction. Ugh, I can't think of any ideas. Oh God, what if I'm getting too old to enjoy Coco Melon just like my bullies said? Better call my inspiration, Melon Man 1953, for some support. Hey, Melon Man 1953, I think I'm experiencing Coco Melon fandom burnout. Yeah, so did I. But I can't help you anymore because I've left the adult Coco Melon fandom for a totally new interest. Goodbye. Oh, great. Well, I guess I could write a sequel to my Roblox Garden of Ban Ban fan fiction. Let's just take a look at the comments to see if there's anything people really like that I could focus on next time. Hey, what's this? Bro, you look middle-aged. Why are you writing Roblox fanfiction? Shouldn't you have a family to take care of? Whatever. Probably just a comment from a dumb little kid who hasn't realized that I normalized fandom adults. Wait a minute. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a little kid. I'm 70 years old. That's right. It's me, Melon Man 1953 and my new interest is mocking phantom adults. But, but, but. Hey, it's me, Melon Man 1953. Just calling to remind you to let people enjoy things. Ah! Now that's what I call a dark and disturbing ending to a story full of adult themes. Anyway, to hear adult swear words such as and send ideas for topics you'd like to see in a video, go to patreon.com slash Tony today.